Oh, this is so exciting. This is gonna change the van completely. That's why doing this will give me a chance to fix all the mistakes that I made in the back here, uh, redo things, make them tighter, make them a little more sturdy. And um, it's gonna add a lot more storage space which you can never have enough of in a cargo van. Well, this isn't a cargo van, this is a bus. 15 passenger bus. <coughs> now the changes that I'm gonna make to this from the last van, my big mistake was covering up the back window here and the two back windows there. When we go camp out somewhere, I want to be able to see everything around me. I want like a panoramic view. So I was kind of regretting the way I built the last build. It made it very claustrophobic. Very cozy, but very claustrophobic. Uh, the bed situation too. I had the bed going sideways from wall to wall so my head and toes would touch the walls. I'm about a six footer, six foot oneer with heels on. And that's not gonna be comfortable. So with this new arrangement, I'm gonna turn the bed so that it's not sideways anymore and I can use the full 75 inches of the mattress and not have to cramp up anywhere. This is gonna be good. He's smiling. So we're headed into Wilmington and I have a funny story about Wilmington where when I was a young lad I used to put art on walls without permission and I got busted in Venice and went to court and they made me do 40 hours of community, no, not community, 40 hours of, what is it? Yeah, 40 hours of community service. And I had to go around cleaning up walls and alleyways in the city of Wilmington, so this is uh, kind of a full circle type deal now. I'm coming back to get some work done. People have journeyed far and wide to get to this place. And it's about six minutes from my place. Lucked out for that. Look at this rat rod. Sick. Let's go. There's a lot of trucks here. I wouldn't know what nice. it, it off before you. Oh, no, no, no worries. It's just the wax. Did you say, it's clay, so they don't think it's like <laughs> No, no. Everybody that, that has done this has, has talked about it. Yeah, so this one, the left side is on um, 
centered with the with, with this window, window on the other side. Right. And the other one's with that window. Let's check that side out. Ooh. Nice. So then, yeah, the the placement of the fan, I guess um, we reconsidered from from you know center here, more centered with like how you have it. thinking when it gets hot we're gonna want it. Yeah yeah. yeah. That oh and, and that's that's it there. Okay. So I was gonna I just wanted to show you the this is the stuff I'll use for your uh, don't forget you got a deal man <laughs> So screws and everything are in there. I forgot in the sense that I forgot to take it off. <laughs> yeah. I always mean, like to just check them out because yeah. um, you never know how they're treated. It should be. Exactly. I got one customer, so I let me check this with them, and this was cracked. Oh, okay. cracked. And I just gave her mine because I don't trust it. But this, I still have mine in my van. I was like, you know what, here you can take it. But you leave that out, right? Do I yeah. put that in? Yeah. Yeah, because it, is, it all depends on how much insulation you're going to put. It's right. Kind of depending on that. Um, the important ones are the whitehead ones. Yeah. The other ones we don't usually use our own. Yeah, I lost those. I was like, damn it, where they go? <laughs> um, I, I was like, yeah. I got to find those. These are the important ones because these are the ones that connect the. Oh uh, yes, the, the four, it. right? Yeah. yeah. To install it, we're just gonna use this for now. And okay. that's how the fan was built. That's yeah. how both connect. Right. To that. from Fiberine. I got two windows on the sides and I got my max fan put in. Boom! Now I'm on the way home. Gotta get me a club so nobody steals my house. So driving this thing feels like a, I have a shark fin on the top. It keeps the van straight. Feels like it's got a little more stability compared to the low top. It's weird. You can hear the, the wind drag from the screens up there, which means airflow. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I got to get used to the height though, because I don't know if I'm going to hit these tree branches right now, if I'm going to hit the traffic lights. So I got to learn this height. Pretty damn tall. I think it's like over 24 inches. So I got my lift today. 24. And I was talking to Gonzalo about getting a lift and he actually recommended Jeremy from Weltech Designs to, to put a lift on this thing. I may consider it 
but for now I am busy trying to get the van build done within 12 days so I have a new challenge it took me a few months actually it took me a, about a, a whole year to get the, the van built out just because I was piecing things together slowly but now that I kind of know where things are going to go and things are still built, I just have to put them up. It should go quickly, but I will have that in another video for you. So my new challenge is 12 days to get my van ready. Now when I get in here, I'm going to have to rebuild this. I have all this space. So, rebuild time, 12 days. Oh, check this shit out. I can actually stand up straight and have a fist space above me. This thing's gonna be sick. We got my Max fans in now. So I can close it up for right now. And we got a window on this side. It's a 12 inch by I think 32. So it's a little stiff right now, but there we go. So now we have a view from up here. I'm gonna create some storage right here. And the bed's gonna go here all the way straight so I can lay flat now. I don't have to cramp up between this space. They put in some reinforcement so that I can build up the shelving back here so now it's not over the window and now we have window space because I want a full panoramic now when we're out there in the wilderness I want to see where all the bears are and the wolves and the yeti and then here's where the door is and I decided to put this window here so when I'm standing up I can look straight out and see who's knocking at my door. And then on this side, they leave this part of the roof intact where the cab is. So I just have to put my clips back in here. And then I have all of this. Look at that. That's my arm right there. All that space for storage. So we're going to build some type of cover or just a an opening and I think yeah storage here with the reinforcement right above the sink and I may have to lift this sink up because now it's too short but look at it, it goes to, to to my knee so we're do, we're doing some uh, reconstruction in here but that's looking nice and no more hunched over it's gonna make the build so much easier too yep 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 this is nice this is a nice nice I was gonna put this window back here but I figured I wanted to have that storage here so that we can have this cleared to walk and if I were to have a window here and have storage over the window that kind of defeats the purpose because these windows aren't very cheap so I want to utilize them so we strategied this one here so that when we're laying in bed we have some flow plus some flow plus some flow from here and Diggy's going to be laying right here so he'll get that flow right here this is going to be fun interesting uh, should have done this in the first place but yeah so my challenge is to get this van built up in 12 days so that we can get out of here and start our adventure come November 1st that's the goal look at me I'm walking around in my van now this 
is awesome. This is cool. Very cool. So I added probably 24 inches. And then uh, Gonzalo knows Jeremy from Weltex, so he said to, you know, say that he referred me and I can probably get a little bit off of the top for um, maybe a Baja grocery getter kid. I don't know. Get, get a little lift and then I can be super high off the ground and super high inside the van and I don't smoke anymore though so 